When we talk about the equipment that you're gonna to need to make dry cured sausage, a lot of it's gonna be incredibly familiar, so we won't go over it in great detail. For a grinder, you're gonna need something that can grind twice and do it reliably. You may occasionally use a 1 8 plate, but for the most part, you're really only gonna be using a 3 16 plate since we want more particle definition in most of these products. Our Walton's processing line is perfectly fine for any of your grinding needs with dry cured sausage. Then for a mixer, here we do want to be a little bit more careful. Our 50 pound mixer is a great option because we're going to be making slightly larger batches of dry cured sausage generally. Why go through all that effort for five pounds of dry cured sausage? So that's a good option because we can get just about the right level of protein extraction that we want. And more importantly, make sure that that lactic acid starter kit is completely mixed through the meat so that we don't have any patches in our sausages that doesn't have the right level of acidification. For stuffers, either our manual or electric stuffers will work perfectly fine. Remember, most of these are going to be larger diameter products, so they should actually be easier to stuff than anything else except for maybe a summer sausage. Now here's where we start getting into some specialized equipment. The number one thing we would recommend is a dry curing cabinet. This is the new Walton's 135L, and it's the perfect choice for home dry cured sausage making. It can hold temperatures from 34 to 72 degrees perfectly reliably, and more importantly, it can control the relative humidity inside of this cabinet. Now it does it between 60 and 85% relative humidity, and unlike some other models that we tested, this actually has the ability to add humidity in, not just take it out. This has a completely copper cooling system and with its compressor, no problem at all getting humidity out. But generally, when you try to add humidity into a retail version of a dry curing cabinet, it just doesn't work. This has a large reservoir of water at the bottom plus a fan directly on top of that. So anytime we need to increase the humidity, that fan kicks on, brings up some of that water into the air and make sure that we can get the perfect relative humidity for our drying phase every time. Then something we're gonna need is some form of pH meter. Now here are two different ones. This is the Milwaukee. This is the one that most people who are just getting into dry cured sausage are gonna go for. It's at a lower price point and it does a perfectly fine job. Now, if you're trying to do this commercially or you just want a little bit more accurate, this is the Testo. This is a very accurate and very fast reading pH monitor. This is what we generally use because we have access to it and why wouldn't you want that? Subscribe to Walton's YouTube channel to check out more meat processing videos, shop waltons.com to find everything but the meat, or check out more hand-picked videos by clicking here or clicking here.